Hi guys. So, um, starting off this video, I'm going to show you. So, when I press uh, this button here, it'll basically turn on that light and start the OBS stuff. But I'll show you that inside of ScreenFlow, the recording software I use when I'm using OBS. And so, I'm just going to be pressing that button. And then, and everything will turn, turn on and stuff like that. Because that'll basically press this button, for example, which will turn on that. And after I stop, it'll turn it off like that. So, And I'll show you that inside ScreenFlow. So, let's get started. Hi guys, I'm showing you... Um, how I have OBS set up again to how, how how I have it going through here. So I showed you a picture, uh, uh, the first part of how I have it start, how how what button I'm gonna press. And so now I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna press the button now, and you're seeing my secondary screen because that's what OBS actually is on all the times so anyway. So when I press it, it will start OBS as you see. And then what you can't see because the camera isn't on, I mean because the camera isn't on, it basically opens up multi-view and then it turns on the light, but you can't see actually that, the light being actually turned on, but you see the intro. And so you probably can't hear the intro, but I'm going to play at the end of this video the what what you see. And so... Basically, as you can see, everything's going there because this is the what I, the view I see. Because that it does a um, it does a um stinger, and then it does the actual um intro stuff like that. Then it does that. Um, some of these gra graphics I made, and then there's that for information. And, uh, and that happens on all these scenes you see except for the multi-view because that's when I just want to show the multi-view itself here. And uh, you see this in the camera. That's why I can't use the camera because it's tied to OBS. And OBS, since OBS is open, it can't use that camera at the same exact time. So the next camera scene, as you can see at the bottom, it shows basically four of the same scenes. They're not the four same scenes. So I have a switch on my wall that basically does... Uh, that does uh, um that will basically that uh, that has uh, um HDMI coming from from there for each device. So the unboxing camera that you see, um, right here, is basically just going to be a camera that's on there just in for repair. I mean it 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 was in for repair. It was basically cheap camera. So next camera, which is a laptop, which is a which is behind the monitor over there you can see see it over there and that's connected to an HMI switch that allows me to basically switch between there and also OBS at the same exact time then the next one which is the switch right here which is my Nintendo switch and then the Apple TV which is what you see on all this right now because that's the most active scene and all these are switch 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 between an HMI switch so you won't see um, number in number one you see which is the desktop it has the uh, wallpaper screen right, like like right here and um, it has a wallpaper screen like right here and the laptop has the same exact thing so there's that and uh, also um, the Mac which you see is just my top Mac screen up here as you can see, if I move this, you see it moves in the multi-view. And then next, which is the actual multi-view, and then my tablet, which is for tablet stuff, and then the ending, which, which you would see. So, I, and I had a hold on, on the scene where you see, see it at. So, if I press the uh, um, camera, it would do the, the cameras in your scene, scene now, all the same exact thing. The same thing happens when I press unbox. But Unbox won't show anything because there's no camera hooked to it, but it will do the stinger. And all these have the, um, the audio in, in actually there, so it will do that. And that. And then it will do all this. I'm going to go through all the, the scenes like, like this. It's pretty much just the same exact scene. Well, well, like the three scenes you see here are the same exact thing. But, uh, 
but it's just with the different stuff plugged into them and different ports. So when I go to a laptop, which is nothing in it right now, but if I plug uh, this cable into there, it will show my phone screen, but it will do the same exact thing on all these. Right here, it will cover up my camera because of because of where it's at. So there's that, and then if I go to switch, the switch will should actually show show something since it's actually on. If it's not on, I have to wake it. But there's that. And, and if you notice on the, the actual, um, in the multi view, it shows the same exact thing of, uh, it shows the same exact image on all four of uh, these right here, here, and here. It's because it's literally just, uh, on the same exact scene. It's just the same, um, rolling capture card, but with actually four different ports pressed. I just made it easier to differentiate them instead of switching between them because it doesn't work sometimes. And now if we press the Apple TV, which is the one over here, does that. It goes to here, multi-view. It will sh actually show what's on the Apple TV. And what's on the Apple TV, this one has no actually camera. But what it does show is that... It does show what's on this screen behind me over here and the one over there. So I can just show, I can either show my main camera scene to show what, what's on here, or I can basically um, show what's on here without showing my camera feed. And then um, there's um, speakers on here, so I can actually listen to what's on the Apple TV on here. So. And now the next one, which is uh, which is the server. The server is just um, Windows computer running uh, server twenty nineteen for now. It's been upgraded to the newer version, and it just does the same exact thing. And so, one I can't show you is the tablet one because of the tablet's not charged. But when I, I can explain that by going over to the camera scene, and I'll show you what that was like. So basically, the the tablet right here is I have a a one scene called on tablet boot, which when the tablet boots up. I have to use this HDMI, I mean this USB-C cable to plug tablet in. It runs a ADB services. And once it runs the ADB services, I can then unplug the, the tablet after this after terminal quits. Then this one I press, which oh which will boot the tablet largely and show on the tablet scene. But since I can't press the tablet scene because it won't run, because that's gonna happen because of because the tablet's not on. But it will, when when basically the um, when the um tablet scene is actually ran. Um, because when tablet boot runs, it will exit out a multi view that you see on the on the this screen right here. It will exit multi view, and then I press tablet. It will boot into multi view. And once it boots into multi-view, I mean, it will boot in multi-view after running the tablet software, which is screen copy. And once it runs screen copy, it will just um, boot back into this view and switch to, and we'll switch to the tablet scene. And once I exit it, it will, uh, once I basically press the button again, it will, it will stop that. And then it will exit out of the it will exit out of screen copy, and then it will exit out of multi view. Once it exits out of multi view, it will then go to it will then go to um it will it will um enter multi view, then it will go to the camera scene you see now. 
So, and then that's for tablet. So that's the only one I can't show, show you, but I showed you server already. I'll show you Mac. So the Mac scene is just my top screen with the actual the camera and it shows the main capture screen. So when I have to show you some something inside server, I have that scene which uses NDI. When I need to show you something with the Apple TV or show an iPad without having to oops. And I literally just shut down that computer. And uh, yeah. So once I shut down that computer, oh well. Oh no, I didn't shut down the computer. So I literally just turned on that. So. So I didn't shut down. I, I my finger actually touched touched that. So. So what I use the uh, the Windows computer for is what I what I use this for is for when I need need to show some virtual machine uh, machine, machine stuff with actual over NDI I can I can just press a button over there, and it switches to like here, allowing me to do actually that, and then. Uh, when I press the tablet, I can go to tablet stuff. Multi view is just one that shows everything, like I was talking about. And this is the only one that doesn't have the actual um the thing in there. But what what this shows you is uh, this screen over. It shows it shows this screen over here, which is a preview program, and then the things below and only one that don't have any which basically sh on, on here I can probably be actually put off is this one which is overlay which just does the overlay stuff and uh, if I need it more scenes I can basically have eight more I can have um seven more scenes technically um I mean six more scenes I mean six more scenes because uh, the overlay one would be pushed actually back. And the ending one would be down here. Which allows me to have seven more things I could put on here. But I would have to have seven more buttons on here. So. Which I can possibly have. Um, but then. After I showed you all that. And if and once I fin finish all, all that stuff, like I'm showing you, uh, let me go back to the camera scene. So if I go back to the camera scene, I'll show you. I have this button here, which you can see. Oh, not this scene, actually. So, so basically... I'm gonna show you the other scene. Sorry, sorry about switching. I switched to the wrong one by accident because I wasn't basically because I thought I forgot that it would be easier to show you over here. So if I go to the max scene, so you see right where I have this over here, over here. This is where it says you see where it says stop now. When I press that stop now button, it will um turn off this light after stopping the multi view. I mean, a after shutting it down, it will stop it, and then it would just do that. So, let me just show you. So, when I press stop now, it runs the outro. And once it runs the outro, it would uh, just uh, run outro, go stay there. It will export the video. And once it exports the video, it would just, uh, it would stop. And so, depending on how long the video itself is, it sh I, I gave it two minutes to export, okay? So, um, if it doesn't export in time, it would just export it, so. Because it exports in MOV, which is, uh. Um, for, for, which is, um, it exports in ProRes, so, 
It was bad. I gave it two minutes and it made me actually more time, I'm not sure, but but basically after this runs you yeah, probably need some more time. Because of I'm recording and it's basically taking a little bit of time. So I'm going to pause this just so it can speed up, but it shouldn't take, shouldn't take this long. So basically, um, you're going to have to set, so basically depending on, the, on how you want it. So basically I just f figured out that, um, when I run the, the stop, stop, stop now, it, what happened was. It literally um took it took more than two minutes to re 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 remux. So if you want to do actually this without the remuxing part, because you could probably remux it yourself. So just have OBS open and then go to here to file and go to remux recording. And then once you remux recording, you basically just drag and drop the, you basically can either drag and drop this into, um, you basically go to um, your file. I'll just drag and drop mine to my desktop, but basically um, it's, it's 11 gigs. So basically that's because of it's a, um, MKV file and so since I actually remux that so if you go see here it it'll tell you how what the file is and how big it is it's uh, um, 11 gigs so if you want to basically remux this so it is smaller so you put this into your video editor and after you put it into your video editor you basically um you would uh you would um you, once you put it in your video editor it would become smaller depending on how how you say is say is save it but this since this is prores it takes a little bit more time and so if you want to have it remux yourself yes you can And so once you do actually that, you can, um, once you remux it, it's pretty much just, um, done because of, right now it's, it's, uh, about 11 gigs just for files, okay? So it's, uh, um, 11 gigs, so... Your it, it's on my desktop right now, so we'll just go to click here, and then we go to um, desktop or wherever you save your stuff at. I'm saving that on my doc in, in, on my desktop. So you press here, the file which is date date. You go to Remux, and it says. It says file may be incomplete. So, but if we play it, So, but, but if we play this one, it plays just fine. So, so if you are doing a multi, if you're doing this to, um, as like a startup, you are, you probably, depending on how long you think you're going to be recording for, how much footage you record, I would say set this to, uh, 
um, sets your um, this to quit after a certain amount of time. So I'm just going to say I just have mine set to 60,000, which is 10 minute, minutes. So I would say 120,000. I mean, 920,000 because six, 600,000 is that. So, yeah, you would need a little bit more time. So, I say, I would say, um, 10 minutes is like a lot of time there. So, and so I'll, I'll do actually test and I'll just say, and I'll see how actually long it would take to actually render out if I would basically to. If I were to um, save it like that, so um, and it's save save because of you may not want to use ProRes. If you don't want to use ProRes, it probably would be a, a lot smaller file, and I and I know this because a lot of, all my other files are smaller, but yeah. So um, don't use Pro ProRes like you. Are. Don't use Pro ProRes if, if like you're doing this manually. I mean, cause use ProRes if you're doing this manually. But if you're not doing this manually, or you have like a sh super short, small like your files, use actually ProRes. And uh, um, like thirty se seconds if if you're making shorts. But if you're not, then just use a smaller file. So thanks for watching. Uh, and I hope that helps. I'll actually put this at the end of the video, the, the, the parts you saw there showing me switching. And yeah, so hope you actually like it. Bye. Because that it does a um it does a um stinger and then it does the actual um intro stuff like that. Then it does that. Um some of these gra graphics I made. And then there's that for information. And uh, and that happens on all these scenes you see except for the multi view because that's when I just want to show the multi view itself here, and uh, you see this in the camera. That's why I can't use the camera because it's tied to OBS and OBS, since OBS is open, it can't use that camera at the same exact time. So the next camera scene, as you can see at the bottom, it shows basically four of the same scenes. They're not the four same scenes. So I have a switch on my wall that basically does a. Uh, that does uh, um that will basically that uh, that has the uh, um HDMI coming from from there for each device. So the unboxing camera that you see um right here is basically just going to be a camera that's on there it's in for repair. I mean it it it, it was in for repair. It was basically cheap camera. So next camera, which is a laptop, which is a which is behind the monitor over there you can see see it over there and that's connected to an HMI switch that allows me to basically switch between there and also OBS at the same exact time then the next one which is the switch right here which is my Nintendo switch and then the Apple TV which is what you see on all this right now because that's the most active scene and all these are switch 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 between an HMI switch so you won't see um number in number one you see which is the desktop it has the uh, wallpaper screen right, like like right here and um, it has a wallpaper screen like right here 
and the laptop has the same exact thing, so there's that. And uh, also, um, the Mac, which you see is just my top Mac screen up here. As you can see, if I move this, you see it moves in the multi view. And then next, which is the actual multi view, and then my tablet, which is for tablet stuff, and then the ending, which, which you would see. So, and it had a hold on, on the scene where you see, see it at. So, if I press the uh, um, camera, it would do the, the cameras in your scene, scene now, all the same exact thing. The same thing happens when I press unbox. But Unbox won't show anything because there's no camera to it, but it will do the stinger. And all these have uh, um, the audio in, in that issue there, so it will do that. And uh, that. And then it will do all this. I'm going to go through all the, the scenes like, like this. It's pretty much just the same exact scene. Well, well, like the three scenes you see here are the same exact thing. But, uh, but it's just with the different stuff plugged into them and different ports. So when I go to a laptop, which is nothing in it right now, but if I plug uh, this cable into there, it will show my phone screen, but it will do the same exact thing on all these. Right here, it will cover up my camera because of, because of where it's at. So there's that. And then if I go to switch, the switch will should actually show, show something since it's actually on. If it's not on, I have to wake it, but there's that. And, and if you notice on the actual, um, in the multi view, it shows the same exact thing of, uh, it shows the same exact image on all four of uh, these right here, here, and here. It's good. It's literally just, uh, um, the same exact scene. It's just the same, um, rolling capture card, but with actually four different ports pressed. I just made it easier to differentiate them instead of switching between them because it doesn't work sometimes. And now if we press the Apple TV, which is the one over here, does that. It goes to here, multi-view. It will sh actually show what's on the Apple TV. And what's on the Apple TV, this one has no actually camera. But what it does show is that... It does show what's on this screen behind me over here and the one over there. So I can just show, I can either show my main camera scene to show what, what's on here, or I can basically um, show what's on here without showing my camera feed. And then um, there's um, speakers on here, so I can actually listen to what's on the Apple TV on here. So. And now the next one, which is uh, which is the server. The server is just um, Windows computer running uh, server twenty nineteen for now. It's been upgraded to the newer version, and it just does the same exact thing. And so, one I can't show you is the tablet one because of the tablet's not charged. But when I can explain that by going over to the camera scene, then I'll show you what that was like. So, basically, the, the tablet right here is I have a, a one scene called on tablet boot, which when the tablet boots up, I have to use this HDMI, I mean, this USB-C cable to plug tablet in. It runs a ADB services. And once it runs the ADB services, I can then unplug the tablet after this, after terminal quits. Then this one I press, which, oh, which will boot the tablet largely and show on the tablet scene. But since I can't press the tablet scene because it won't run, because that's going to happen because of, because the tablet's not on. But it will 
when when basically the um when the um tablet scene is actually ran. Um, because when tablet boot runs, it'll exit out a multi view that you see on the on the the screen right here. It will exit multi view, and then I will press tablet. It will boot into multi view. And once it boots into multi view, I mean it will boot in multi view after running the tablet software, which is screen copy. And once we're on screen copy, it will just um boot back into this view and switch to and we'll switch to the tablet scene. And once I exit it, it will uh well, once I basically press the button again, it will it will stop that. And then it will exit out of uh, it will exit out of screen copy, and then it will exit out of multi view. Once it exits out of multi view, it will then go to it will then go to um it will it will it will um enter multi view. Then it will go to the camera scene you see now. So and then that's for tablet. So that's the only one I can't show show you, but I showed you server already. I'll show you Mac. So the Mac scene is just my top screen with the actual the camera and it shows the main capture screen. So when I have to show you some something inside server, I have that scene which uses NDI. When I need to show you something with the Apple TV or show an iPad without having to oops. And I literally just shut down that computer. And, uh, yeah. So once I shut down that computer, oh well. Oh no, I didn't shut down the computer, so. I literally just turned on that, so. So I didn't shut down. I, my finger actually touched touched that. So. So what I use the uh, the Windows computer for is what I, what I use this for is for when I need need to show some virtual machine uh, machine, machine stuff with actual over NDI. I can I can just press a button over there, and it switches to like here, allowing me to do actually that, and then. Uh, when I press the tablet, I can go to tablet stuff. Multi view is just one that shows everything, like I was talking about. And this is the only one that doesn't have the actual um the thing in there. But what what this shows you is uh this screen over it shows it shows this screen over here, which is preview program, and then the things below and only one that don't have any which basically sh on, on here I can probably be actually put off is this one which is overlay which just does the overlay stuff and uh, if I need it more scenes I can basically have eight more I can have um seven more scenes technically um I mean six more scenes like I mean six more scenes because the the overlay one would be pushed actually back, and the ending one would be down here, which allows me to have seven more things I could put on here. But I would have to have seven more buttons on here, so which I can possibly have. Um, but then after I showed you all that, and if and once I finish all all that stuff like I'm showing you uh, let me go back to the camera scene if I go back to the camera scene I'll show you I have this button here which you can see oh not this scene actually so so basically I'm gonna show you the other scene. Sorry, sorry about switching. I switched to the wrong one by accident because I wasn't basically because I thought I forgot that it would be easier to show you over here. So I go to the max scene. So you see right where I have this over here, over here. This is where it says. You see where it says stop now. When I press that stop now button, it will 
um, turn off this light after stopping the multi-view. I mean, a after shutting it down, it will stop it, and then it would just do that. So let me just show you. So when I press stop now, 